Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these Encanto theme candy bags. I guess you can call them party favors or party bags, but these came out super cute. I absolutely love the way they turned out. So I said, you know what, let me share these with my YouTube fam. So like always, to make these the same exact way that I did, you need to get my templates from my website, createyourdreams.com. Once you get to the website, you go up to where it says graphics, underneath pre-made designs, and go down to where it says enchanted slash fiesta. Don't worry, I'll be sure to leave the links down below. So for the party bag stickers or the candy bag stickers, I'm going to go down to where it says enchanted fiesta party bags and click on that. And then I'm going to choose between the files that I want. I offer PNG and JPG. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the PNG and go ahead and add that to cart. Once I add it to cart, checkout process is very simple and easy. These are instant downloads. So as soon as you check out, your graphic will be available for you to download. Now, if you're buying more than one party um, template or party favorite template, you can use my code instant bogo which is a buy one get one free i'll be sure to leave that down below in the description box as well so now that i have checked out i'm going to go ahead and download my image straight off the website open up the file and save it to my laptop that's how simple it is guys to get my templates they're instant downloads and you save them immediately so now that i've got my template i'm going to show you guys how to edit these using picmonkey now you can use canva but me personally i enjoy using picmonkey so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it using picmonkey i'm going to go ahead and log into my account and show you how you can customize these and add your child's name their picture their age or whatever you want to put on the candy bags so once i get into my account i go to where it says create new and i go down to where it says print sizes in the print size that i'm going to choose is going to be 11 by eight and a half inch that's regular standard size u.s printing size once the template opens up it's basically going to open up to a blank sheet of paper that is the size 11 by eight and a half inch and then once that opens up i'm going to go to the top where it says add image and we're going to add the images that we need to put this design together so i'm going to add our candy bag template that we just got from the website i'm going to add my customer's picture as well and i believe that's the only two images that i need to make this so once the images pop up on the side i'm going to go ahead and click once on my candy bag template and that's going to transfer over into the center of our black sheet of paper as you can see it does not need to be resized then to add her name i'm going to go to where it says text and click on that and once the text pops up in the middle of our paper i'm going to go ahead and move that up into our one of our squares but first i'm going to change the font to a font that's called luckiest guy i love using that font for my party favors the font looks very playful and very it's very cute for a child's party so i'm going to go ahead and choose the font luckiest guy and i'm going to go ahead and type my customer's name into the box and i'm going to go ahead and move it and size it to where i want it to be inside of one of our candy labels so after i size it and get it to where i want it to be i'm going to go ahead and change the color of that and i'm going to go ahead and do a hot pink so after i change the color i want to add a shadow and an outline around it to make her name stand out so go to shadows and outlines and click on shadow and then it'll put a shadow around her name then i'm going to go ahead to outline and choose black as my outline color now that makes her name stand out on the candy label after adding her name, I'm going to go ahead and add turns because the, the text I'm going to be putting is Zahira turns six. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our font and click add text. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font to, I think I'm going to use the font called chunk five. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the word turns in lowercase letters and add that up underneath her name. I think I'm going to change the color of that to purple instead of it being pink just to give it a little pop and then once i finish with turns i'm going to go ahead and add a number six for her age so it'll say zahira turns six <laughs>
finish adding our caption I'm gonna go ahead and click on the picture of my customer and add her to that as well so I'm just gonna move her over close to where that first box is and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that scissor image that says remove background I love this tool and usually when you when you use this um this this remove background it usually removes mostly all of the background that's one thing I love about using pick monkey I know that Canva offers this as well so after I line her up to where I want her to be and size her, I'm going to go into where it says effects, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to go ahead and play with her, um, the highlights, the midtones, the shadows, and the contrast, just to make her stand out on the picture. Because the background is so vibrant and the colors are so bright, I want her to be just as vibrant and, and bright as the background as well. And I'm going to also go in and add a shadow around her just to make her stand out even more on the on the picture. Or I'm sorry, on the candy label. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and play around some more with the text. You know, I'm basically done. I just want to make sure that everything is lined up to where I want it to be. I'm actually probably going to change the the font of the word turns. I think I'm going to change that to um probably to the font that says Aleron cuz I want it to be I just want it to look a little bit different. So I'm going to change the font and then I'm going to resize everything to where I want it to be and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how we're going to put the font or the caption and and her picture in every other one of the boxes as well. caption how we want it I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste so you just click on left click on your um, on your text so I'm gonna left click on her name and then I'm gonna click where it says copy and then click again and click paste now if you're doing it on a desktop or a laptop of course you can do control C and control V to make it easier but I'm just showing this for you guys just in case you're not using a laptop or a desktop so you just left click on the text and just hit copy first and then left click again and hit paste and a second image will pop up or a second text a copy of your text will pop up and this works the same for your picture images as well so i'm just going to go ahead and keep on left clicking on each text and then i'm going to left click on her picture as well and do copy and paste for basically for every single text and image i'm going to do copy and paste and move it to each of the boxes and one thing you'll notice is while i'm moving it to the boxes some red lines might pop up that'll help you basically position it the same way it's positioned in the first box which is really really helpful so like while i'm moving her you'll see like some red lines that will pop up and that'll let you know if you're putting her in the same position as i put her in the first box so basically in every single candy label that the font and the her picture will be at the same position so i'm just going to go ahead and keep on copying and pasting and i'm just going to go ahead and speed this up a bit and then i'll come back and show you guys how it looks once it's done <music> Thank you. 
once I finished with with the template I'm gonna go to the top to where it says download and I'm gonna go ahead and download that and save that to my laptop but then I'm gonna go ahead and print that I'm gonna print it on my inkjet printer and I'm gonna print it on sticker paper and I'm gonna leave the links for all the supplies down below now that it has printed this is how it came out guys it looks absolutely beautiful the colors are popping she is popping it just looks super super cute and because the labels are so close together to each other you can cut this out simply with just a pair of scissors you don't have to use a cutting machine or a cutting tray you could just cut these out with a scissor so we get eight labels all together so these are the treat bags that i'm going to be using i actually found these at walmart these are four inches by nine and a half inch and they work perfectly with the size candy labels that i'm giving you guys so i'm going to go ahead and use those and this color particular is iridescent which is very very cute this is our candy they actually came in a assorted candy bag i just went ahead and emptied them out into a box i will leave the link down below also for the candy bag that i use for my can um, for the candy that i use for my candy bags and i also have some pink ribbon this is like balloon ribbon you don't have to use this but i, I think it adds an extra touch of color and it, it, it really makes the candy bag pop after you put them together so I'm going to just go ahead and use my um, my cutting tray and go ahead and um, cut these images out. But they're very easy to cut out because they're very close to each other. It's not really any white spots or anything that you have to really cut off. But I'm going to just go ahead and cut these out and then come back and show you guys how they look once everything is cut. And then we can go ahead and assemble our candy bags. <laughs> So now that we cut out, cut out our candy labels, we're going to go ahead and start putting our bags together. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up our treat bags and then just place one out so that we can put our sticker on top of our bag. Now make sure that when you are putting the sticker on the bag, that the bag, the opening of the bag is up. Because I have, in the beginning, yes, I have put the sticker on the wrong way. And for some reason, these stickers are not trying to come off once you put them on. So just make sure that the opening of the bag is facing up when you're putting your sticker on. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out some candy. Now, this candy bag that I bought didn't come with ring pops and push pops and stuff. Like, I already had those kind of candies. The candy bag mainly had the Jolly Ranchers. Kit Kats, some Reese's, and I believe the Starburst. So I already have push, pop, push Pops and Ring Pops. So I went ahead and add that to those candy bags as well. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put down, lay out one of our candy bags. And we're just going to go and peel off the sticker. These stickers are super easy to peel off. So just go ahead and peel off one corner of it and peel off the, the, um, the rest of the sticker. And we're going to put it on the candy bag about an inch above the bottom of the candy bag okay because once we put our top or our twister top on the top of the candy bag after we fill it we want to have enough room for the top of the candy bag but i'll show you guys if you don't understand so i'm just going to go ahead and fill up our candy bag with a few pieces of candy and then i'm going to after i do this i'm going to peel off one of our closers or our twisters that the candy bags came with and these came with silver twisters you can buy different color twisters if you want but you know it doesn't matter to be honest because that pink ribbon is going to cover up the twister anyway so i'm just going to go ahead and fill up our candy bag then i'm going to go ahead and take one of our twisters and pull them apart and just go ahead and wrap it around the top part of our candy bag and this is the reason why you don't want to put the sticker up too high on the candy bag because once you put your twister up there if the sticker is too high it's going to kind of crush the sticker and you don't want that you want the sticker to be able to be as flat as possible so it can be shown when you lay it out on your table on your dessert table or your cake table so i'm just going to go ahead and put one of our twisters on there then I'm going to go ahead and take two pieces of our pink ribbon and I cut the ribbon pieces about 12 inches and I'd use two for each candy bag. So I cut it 12 inches and I use two pieces of it and then I go ahead and wrap them around the twister that we just put on there. 
and just go ahead and put a knot you can put a single knot or a double knot it doesn't matter but i just go ahead and put a double knot because i don't want it to come unloose this is as this, this is a customer's order so i don't want it to come unloose before it gets to her so i want it to stay in the shipping box and to stay sealed so i just went ahead and put a double knot but if you're doing this for your own child's party of course you can do a single knot if you choose to use balloon ribbon as well so I'm gonna go ahead and push our twister down in the back so you so it's not shown too much or it's not sticking up then I'm gonna go in with my scissor and go ahead and pull the ends of my ribbons really fast to curl those ends up because it just looks really really cute when you curl the ends of the ribbon and the longer the ribbon is, of course, the cuter it is, but 12 inches is enough for you to get some really cute curls out of those ribbons. And yeah, this is how our candy bag looks. Super simple, super easy to put together, very quick, super cute, very fun idea if you don't want to do entire gift bags or party bags. Very nice, alternative, and easy to make. So I'm going to go ahead and make... Um, another one or two on camera and I'm gonna kind of probably speed it up and put some music on and come back and show you guys how they look once I've done a bunch of them So now that I finished a bunch of them, this order was actually, I think I made her about 15 or 20 of them. So yeah, now that I finished a bunch of them, this is how they look, guys. So cute. I mean, I just love the way they turned out. I love the iridescent bags. It gives it that extra nice color to it. The sticker labels are perfect. And like I said, I'm going to leave you guys. I'm sorry, I'm going to leave you guys all the links down below so you guys will be able to make these. They also have these tree bags on Amazon as well. So I'm just going to leave you guys a bunch of links so that you guys can find the supplies that you need to make these. But yeah, guys, thank you so much if you stayed to the entire video. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And if you have any suggestions on tree bags that I should make, let me know. But thank you guys. I enjoyed you and thank you for watching. And like always, God bless.